Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends and let us have a good time together. You know, each time we make videos, the Muslims, they may leave a comment and we find that the comment is most funny, hilarious. Uh, I will show you examples of those comments so we can laugh together. Uh, and this is why I call it bankruptcy. Like the last video we spoke about the God of Islam speaking about how Muslim he will have sexual intercourse with the virgins in heaven with details which are disgusting. What the Muslims answer us? What what is the response? One plus one plus one is equal to one. <laughs> what the other one say? Your 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 Bible support that. <laughs> They start quoting for you verses from the Old Testament. Prince of Peace command, peace command killing. Uh, you know, I, I mean, it's really, it's really funny and stupid. Okay, isn't your God who accept that God, his sponsor Noah, and he killed all mankind who don't accept what Noah asked them to believe in? Isn't it your prophet, he says, kill their children because they are one of them? Isn't it your Quran in the chapter of the cave? Speaking about a child who did not commit any sin in your God, Allah, he, killed, he ordered Al-Khadr to kill him. I mean, the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan is amazing. Those are in war and they are doing the same as they do to the enemy did to them. So here you see the hypocrisy. The enemy did not kill the children of the Muslims. The enemy did not even slaughter the Muslims. You see, the Muslim, they give us history saying that the prophet was kicked out of his town and even they tried to kill him. There is no proof of that. It's a big fat lie. Muhammad, he left with his, all his animals, all his, uh, and his servants and his slaves. You cannot, you cannot smuggle all of that. According to Muslim themselves, 70 people left. How 70 people live together and nobody noticed in a small little tiny village? So, your prophet is a gang caravan leader attacking his own people. At least this is a war between two nations and the other nations want to kill the Jews, want to enslave them. And then, you will see they start posting for your comment. Uh, look at this guy. <clears throat> He's quoting for us uh, this, uh, this chapter from the Quran. And supposedly this is the wise Muslim between the Muslims. So he's quoting for us this chapter. But sadly, he did not notice that this verse he's quoting for us is full of hypocrisy. From his prophet. How is that? If we go to the Quran, it says, Allah said to Muhammad supposedly, Say, O people of the book, come to our common terms as between us and you. But we don't have any terms between us and you. You see, just to show you that we have nothing, look at that, look, look at the name. <laughs> of the chapter. Hello, <laughs> Amran. Who is Amran? <laughs> the father of Mary. Who is father? Of, who is Mary? Who her father is Amran? <laughs> My friend, in order that we have to, we have to, things to share. I mean, at least you tell your prophet to quote the name correctly. Who is this man? His name is Amran. He is the father of Mary, and it happened that Mary in the Quran, Maryam, is the sister of Aaron. And it happened that the father of, uh, of Aaron is Amran. <laughs> so you foolish prophet think that Mary, she is the daughter of Amran, which is the father of Moses and Aaron. <laughs> So in order for those people to come and have something to share with Muhammad, I mean, this guy cannot even quote a name correctly. You see, sometimes I make mistakes in English because English is not my first language, right? Okay, no problem. But to make a mistake, making the father of Umran, 
the father of Aaron and Moses and Maryam, their sister. Yes, is the stupid Muhammad? He heard from the Jews that Aaron and Moses they have a sister. Her name is Maryam. Exactly the name as written in the in Arabic in the Quran. So Muhammad he took that as a proof that Jesus is the nephew of Moses. Nice to meet you, Muhammad. So when you say that Muhammad, and you quote for me this verse, you, you show me that this is stupid because first of all, uh, here it says, and when, we don't associate one partner with, with him, and we uh, erect not among ourselves lords and pat patrons, but none of the Christians take uh, any human as uh, a lord. We don't. You see, it stays one of us. He's not talking about Jesus here. So this is a lie and this is stupid. Not a single Christian worship a priest. So how we can have common sense together? Right? So you can tell right away that Muhammad is a joker. And then he says, uh, don't worship anyone beside Allah who is Allah. You see, we challenge all the Muslims who they are listening or they will listen later to tell us who is this Allah. I mean, shouldn't Muhammad even give us definition who is Allah? The Muslims do not know what Allah mean. What the word Allah mean? They don't know. If you go and read Islamic article about the root of Allah, some they say to you it's coming from the word Ilah, but Ilah mean God. Okay. So what 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 is the name of your God? You don't know? We didn't know. Who is he? We didn't know. How he looked like? We didn't know. What he is? We didn't know. Did Muhammad speak to him? No. Did Muhammad see him? No. Did Muhammad even hear his, his fart? No. So when you ask the Christians to come and believe in the God which you believe in, shouldn't you tell them who is this God? And then if we go uh, to the verse after it, you know, it shows you that the one who wrote the Quran is not only a fraud, is stupid. Look at this. Ye people of the book, why dispute ye about Abraham when the law and the gospel were revealed uh, 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 till after him? <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at this logic. The one who came after, he cannot dispute about the one before. Wonderful. That's why Muhammad cannot dispute with the Christians. I mean, can you see a stupidity more than this? Now, what the Muslim will pose for me? He will pose for me a comment saying, Loot, he have sex with his daughter. What do we have to do with loot? The Bible mentioned people commit sin, commit crimes. This is the book of honesty. And you Muslims, you say the Jews corrupted the Bible. If they corrupted the Bible, they will take those things off. This is not God, he said, to loot and his daughter sleep together. If I sleep with somebody, what, what God have to do with it? Then the Bible will say, Christian Prince, he did that. Stupidity is amazing. Look at this stupidity in front of you. The one who comes after Abraham, he cannot dispute about Abraham. Isn't it Muhammad the last one? That means he cannot dispute. He cannot dispute with the Jews. He cannot dispute with the Christian. Based on this sentence, the Christian cannot dispute with the Jews, and the Muslims cannot dispute with the Christians and with the Jews. And supposedly now Muhammad is giving them the answer and the solution. Yeah, for the Muslims, Lut is a, you know, he's a prophet. You know, anyone in, the, in Islam is a prophet. Alexander the Great is a prophet. Luqman is a prophet. Uh, Luqman is a prophet. Who is Luqman? Do you know even who is Luqman? You don't know. No. And then they say, uh, one of them actually, let me show you the comment. I mean, they go to Islamic website and they start po posting articles. Uh, let us see. Uh, I mean, look, this guy, he posted the same comment uh, one million times. Look, as, as an example, Jesus, he come to bring peace by the sword. Uh, go read the verse. 
Jesus never killed anyone. I mean, listen, if if you Muslims against a statement that Jesus, he brought peace and he used a sword, then you should be honest with yourself and you should spit at your prophet. Jesus did not use any sword. In fact, when the soldiers came to arrest him, Jesus, he restored the ear of the soldier for it was cut by a, by, by, by a sword. Imagine the soldier is coming to arrest Jesus, yet Jesus, he put his ear back. Can you name for me one person Jesus he killed in the Bible or any of the disciples they kill anyone? No. So what sword you are talking about? Coward. And as long as you are talking about the one who will restore by the sword, why you don't pause the verses? I mean, why this verse only? Because the verses after it will expose you. The sword will be in us. People will hate us. People will kill us. Even your father will go against you. Your mother will go against you. Your sister will go against you. Your family. Liars, they have no shame. But as long as you are ashamed of Jesus, the one who come with the piece of sword, as you are claiming, are you ashamed of your prophet saying, I've been victorious by terror from a distance of one month journey? Are you? Sure not. But you know that your prophet is a terrorist. And because you know that your prophet is terrorist, you will not <clears throat> be happy unless you try to make Jesus like a terrorist when he is not. Jesus says, love your enemy. <laughs> what Jesus, what Muhammad said, look at this. I have been given something, five, five things. It is his giving five fours. This is not true. Uh, what, what, uh, what is, uh, you know, I have been helped by terror in the heart of the enemy. Really? Yeah, this is the truth. I've been victorious by terror by a distance of one month journey. You see it? all of this hadith about your prophet being a terrorist. The spoil of war made lawful for me. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I have been supported with fear while I was sleeping. <laughs> I mean, look how peaceful he is. Even when he is sleeping, he is terrifying people. <laughs> what a beast. <laughs> what a scumbag. So when a Muslim, he tried to quote for us something from the, from the Bible, obviously is a bankruptcy because all of us, we knew what they are posting have nothing to do with the topic. Jesus never killed anyone, never was a terrorist. And he taught us if a Muslim, he, uh, 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 he, like he hit your right cheek, give him the other one. But because we understand the nature of Muslims, uh, for me, I will never let Muslims do that to me. And I will tell you why. Because if you go in the Quran, the Quran says, that Allah, He put humiliation on us. And because of that, <clears throat> because Allah, He put humiliation on us, Muslims, they have the right to humiliate us. So when you let a Muslim humiliate you, he believed that Allah, He made you uh, be submissive, peaceful in front of a Muslim so he can kill you, according to the Quran. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when when the Quran speak about such a thing, let us show you some reference. This evil book. This is why when the Muhammadan, when they see someone like Christian Prince, they say, is that what the Christ taught you? Is that what Christ taught you? They make fun of you for Jesus says, love your enemy. But the second you start spanking them, they say, is that what the Christ taught you? They cry day and night, say, hey, you follow Jesus, you stupid idiot. He is not God. He is nobody. Muhammad, he don't even deserve to, to, to buckle the, 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 the shoes of Muhammad. And then 
the second you start hitting hard, they say to you, is that what Jesus taught you? Yes, this is what Jesus taught me. Jesus taught me that if somebody is evil, try to show him that this is evil in a peaceful way. But he never said you can beat me. Never said that I will let you humiliate me. In fact, hypocrisy in Islam is amazing. As an example, Turkey is a country of 100 million population. In the heart of Turkey, there's a three, three American forces base. That is a humiliation for any nation. That is even humiliation to Germany, because that's mean you need the protection of somebody. The Quran says in chapter 5, verse 51, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. And the one who take them as a friends, he is one of them. And yet you Muslims, using taqiyya, seeking the protection of Donald J. Trump and his money, so you became subdued. Based on Qatar, Qatar is the is is the is the biggest fund, uh, so, you know, like supply of the Muslim Brotherhood, but the biggest base of the American is in Qatar. <clears throat> Is that your Quran or this is my book? You see, all those who uh, uh, they, they live in the West, like Mimi and Fifi and Susu, all those girls, they live in the West and the Quran says to them clearly, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. And the one who take them as a friend, he is one of them. So why they take them as a friends? They are not taking them as a friends. They are using Taqiyya. But the fact that even taqiyya will not work. Because they pay tax. Because they obey the queen. Because when they took their passport, they took an oath. They took what? They took an oath. How Allah, he want to spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. And then you see a Muhammadan in a speaker corner saying, uh, we, uh, uh, you know, Islam, love everybody, and Islam, uh, you know, want Christians to know that we know our Islam is terrorism, and uh, Allah, uh, he want to save them. Is that your Quran? And actually, this verse proving that Allah is the devil himself, literally. Huh? Is that your Quran, or this is my book? And this is verse number 51. The evil of Allah is revealed. Oh, who you believe, take not the Jews and Christians for your friends and protectors. Even the Quran forbid Muslims from taking their own parents as a friends or being good and loving for them if they are not Muslims. Yet when they make speeches, they speak differently. You go and see any Muslim who go on TV, like uh, Yasser Qadi. Yasser Qadi, he sit with uh, James White, claiming that he is the duck. Quark, 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 quark. And James White, the idiot, he said to him, I cannot imagine what happened to you as a Muslim when you go in airplanes. Supposedly they are discriminated, which is not true. Actually, it's the opposite. It's us. An Arab Christian like me is discriminated because of Muslims. When I go in airline, because now they think anyone who is an Arab is a terrorist. And they have the right to think so. I mean, look around you. Who is Osama bin Laden is an Arab? Who is Muhammad is an Arab? Who is Zarqawi is an Arab? Who is the founder of, the, even, even terrorist parties which is, exist in Indonesia, the founder of it is an Arab. The biggest party is called Hizb tahrir who is the founder of it? Is an Arab. Who is the founder of Muslim Brotherhood? Is an Arab. So, in order to answer us about the stupidity of their book, they start posting verses have nothing to do with what we are talking. Like now, we are saying 
what we are showing you here that you cannot even be a friend to your own parents to your mother to your father to your to, to your child to your sister just because they are not muslims you will not find any people who believe in allah and the last day loving those who resist allah and his messenger you go hear any speech muslims they make trying to promote islam they speak the opposite they will not post they will not quote this verse right So always the comments the Muslims they bring us is far away from the topic we are talking about. Now I want to hear from a Muslim. If there is any Muslim here would like to say to us something to prove us wrong. If there is any Muslim would like to prove me wrong. Oh, I remember there's a guy he come in our in our comment section. And he say, I am 17 and I know Islam is the truth. This guy, I assure you, is like maybe 60. I'm 17 and I know Islam is the truth. And this is the say he think he say every day. A troll. A troll. I'm 17, I know Islam is the truth. You are 17 what? 17 moon? Right? Uh, let us show you another comment. Uh, CP, you believe God which eat, using toilet, washing feet, and disciple, uh, uh, and feet of disciple of that God? Hmm. First of all, I don't know where you get that he used the toilet. I, I didn't see anywhere that he did. If you can show me, show me. I will learn from you. <laughs> Secondly, my friend, so here you see the stupidity of the cult it's called Muhammadan. Muhammadan, they say to us that angels don't eat. But then we see that Harut and Marut, they come down to the earth and they have sex with women and they drunk wine and they eat. Muhammadan, they say to us that God cannot eat. Well, if a God cannot eat, we cannot be God. If there is something impossible for God, that's mean it's impossible for him to be God. Correct, guys? If you say to me, that's impossible for God even to sleep. That's mean there's something he cannot do. If you say he cannot eat, that's mean there's something impossible for him to do. So my God, everything is possible for him. Your God is not. Number two. Well, all what you notice that Jesus cannot eat, but you did not notice that Jesus can make the blind see, the dead alive, he healed the leper just by touching the person. He can tell you what you hide in your houses. And he is alive until now. All of this is a man. Look, you are trying to prove to me that Jesus is just a man. He's just a man. He just eat. But a man who normally eat, he die and he never come back until judgment day. Until God resurrect him again, right? A normal man, he cannot stay without food for 40 days like what jesus did can you you muslim you fast ramadan which is nothing but a joke you spend the night eating you spend the day sleeping and not only that all of you are ramadan you gain weight the messiah he fasted from food for 40 days non-stop period can you do that can a human being do that here we go, he eat. Even though he come in the flesh of a man, which have needs. This is the flesh need to eat, not God. So the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan, they remind you about Jesus, he eat. But where he, where does Muhammadan get this stupid logic from? This is from the stupid Quran. The Quran, in chapter 5, verse number 75, it says, let us open the verse. Christ, the son of Mary, was no more than a messenger 
many messenger will pass away. This is a false translation, by the way. It says, "Qad khalat min qabli rusul," which means all messengers before him die. Not many messengers die. Why? There are some messengers for you Muslims are still alive. I mean, what is a stupid translation? So, his mother was a woman of a truth, and they had both eat their daily food. <laughs> Okay, Allah. Jesus, he eat daily hamburger. But how after eating hamburger, he can make the one who cannot see, see. The one who cannot walk, walk. And he can resurrect people from death. And here you see the irony and the stupidity of the founder of the Quran. Because why the Christians believe that Jesus is God? Number one reason, actually. Is his ability and his power otherwise I can claim to be God and you can claim to be God anyone can claim to be if Jesus cannot do what he did nobody will believe that he is what he is number one he have no sin the Quran confirmed that in chapter 19 verse 19 Holy Son the angels also the Spirit of Allah came to Mary and says to her that it, I came to you to announce to you the gift of a Holy Son Holy what Holy Son <clears throat> but how Jesus is holy son is holy why Jesus have no father I mean all human being they have a father Muslim they will say to you Adam stupid answer and they learned that from the Quran by the way how Adam will have a father if he is created from mud you idiot Stupidity is amazing, right? This is the Quran, chapter 19, verse number 19. It says, The Spirit of Allah came to Mary and appeared to her as a perfect man. And remember here, remember here, for those idiots, the kids, the Quran confirmed that the Spirit, Spirit, can come as a perfect man. What does that mean? The Muslim here in translation, they say our angel. That's false translation. In Arabic, it doesn't say that. It says, فَأَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهَا رُوحَنَا رُوحَنَا Our spirit. We send to her our spirit. And angels cannot be spirit. Why? The Quran confirmed that because we see in the Quran the following. You see, when you understand such a stupid cult, you have to connect the dots. It's not you take a verse alone. <clears throat> Chapter 78, verse number 38, it says it clearly that the spirit and the angels are two, two different beings. The day that the spirit and the angels will stand forth in ranks. If the angels are the spirit, then you don't do say the angels and the spirit. Correct? So you focus for me that Jesus and his mother they eat food, and I don't know who, who, what who care about his mother she eats food or not. Anyway, we don't believe she is God. You idiot. His mother was a woman of truth, and both they eat their daily food according to the translation. So the one who eat daily food, he have no father, and there's no explanation why. I mean, why? You see, Muhammad, he is a prophet of Allah, according to Muslims, but he have a father. Why it's okay, in the case of Muhammad, that his mother take off her pant, have sex with another guy, supposedly he is the one night stand, we do not know his name. The Muslim, they claim Abdullah, but I find it very weird because it cannot be true. And then he, we have a prophet. Why it's not okay for Mary to have a husband? And from that husband, she have a son. He will be a prophet. Why Jesus is different? They have no answer. Do you understand, guys? If Jesus is no one, Jesus is just a prophet. Okay, treat him like the rest of the prophets. But Muslims always, they get their reasoning from the stupid Quran. The stupid Quran says to them, Oh, Jesus is the same as Adam. But how he is the same as Adam?
the Quran explain <laughs> chapter 3 verse number 59 I mean guys I don't know this is the best book of comedy Muhammad he wanna uh, uh, tell the Christians in his time that Muhammad now imagine Muhammad is making comment in YouTube so Muhammad will copy this and he will post it in YouTube the similitude of Jesus before Allah is the same as Adam. He created him from dust, but Jesus wasn't created from dust. Jesus is born. You see, we say from, from dust to dust, yes, because our, 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 our great father, Adam, is made from dust. So we have the nature of that dust, but I'm not created from dust. I was born. Even the Quran says, we created from every, every living thing from water. And mentioned specifically about the creation after Adam, he mentioned the sperm. So the sperm is not a dust. So how Jesus is the same as Adam? Allah said to him, be, and he was. But if you go and check, you will find that neither Jesus, neither Adam in the Quran was created by saying be. Allah breathed into the mud after he fashioned the mud. Read at this. It is he who created you from mud, but the fact he did not create us from mud, he created Adam only, right? And all those verses in the Quran speaking about how Allah created Adam. As an example here, chapter 38, verse number 71. I read wrong? I, I, I do not know how to read. I'm like your prophet, my friend. I'm illiterate. And here are the other example of the Muslims. You know, they try to make you supposedly do the credit. You say they don't know how to read, which is not true. But let us assume I do not know how to read. So how you follow a prophet? He don't know how to write his name. Here you see the hypocrisy and the stupidity. They are bankrupt. That's why I call it bankruptcy. Look at this. Behold, the Lord says to the angels, I am about to create from a man from a clay. From what? From a clay. Okay, did, did Allah say to the clay be? And he was no. And when I have fashioned him, he make a statues, and he's empty from inside. This is his belly, supposedly. And they breathe into him of my spirit. And then they bow down for him. And why they bow down for him? He's a statues. Stupid teaching. So here you notice that Allah did not say be. He made the first mud, he mixed the dust. To make mud, you have to mix the dust with water. And then he fashioned him. He make a statue, a shape of a man. And then he breathed into him. So where is B and he was? Huh? Where is B and he was? So all the stories when Muhammad, he tried to make Jesus look like Adam, it doesn't work. Because as you see, the stupid, he forgot that Adam wasn't created by saying being he was. I mean, what kind of a prophet? He don't remember how Adam was created. What kind of a prophet? He claimed that the one who is giving him reasoning is Allah. And then this reasoning is stupid. How you say that Adam and Jesus was created by B? We just showed you that Allah, he sent his spirit to Mary and then he, he breathed into her vagina. Where is the word B? We send our spirit to Mary and then he says, and I breathe into her vagina. He, Allah himself, he breathed. Any Muhammad have a comment? Hello? Allah, okay, somebody, he is quoting for us a Muslim uh, answer about why Jesus don't have a father. Let us read the answer. I heard from a speaker corner scholar, scholar in speaker corner, that's that, that the hell of a scholar. I mean, he is so scholar to the point he is in speaker corner. Okay. Uh, 
claiming that Allah is showing his power that he can also create from a woman alone without needing a man. Have you heard this before? My friend, you have to give us a reason of that because even that is a stupid. Even that is a stupid. And I will tell you why. Jesus he created from the mud a bird, according to the Quran. And he did not need a female. Does that mean Jesus is, the, is better than Allah? When, 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 when Allah supposedly created Adam, didn't he create Adam without a female anyway? I mean, they have a lack of intellect, a lack of intelligence. They have a lack of everything, a lack of reasoning. Like the verse where it says, why you dispute about Abraham when you came after Abraham? Well, aren't you the one who came at the end? This is a lack of intellect. Right? When Jesus, he created from the mud a bird. If we ask the Muslims, they will say, oh, well, he, he is, uh, this is Allah gave him the power. Okay, hold on. So Allah gave the power for Jesus to be creator. So now we have two creators. Hmm? We have two creators. If Allah, he gave him that power, he have it. He can create. Right now, as we speak, there's birds, according to the Quran, flying in the sky made by Jesus. Right? Uh... You know, when somebody is a Muslim, he tried to make a comment, and the comment is to explain something, he make it even more horrible. This is my experience with Muslims. I never saw a Muslim, he tried to fix it, he didn't like make it blind. blind. Never. Right? Let us see. Do we have any Muslim have any comment? Any Muhammadan? I will open my sky for a little time just to give a chance to any Muhammadan to give us answers. All right. And please, only Muhammadan call for now. My Skype is not open yet, don't call. Just text me first and I will call you, my friend. <coughs> All right. Uh, any Muslim would like to text uh, to call me, uh, give me a text, please. I will call you back. My Skype right now is open. Anyone? Anyone? And this is a Muslim from Indonesia. Let us see. But this is an old text from yesterday, I think. I don't know if he's online. Hello? Hello. Yes, my friend, I saw your text. You want to call me? This is Christian Prince with you. You are live on air. Yes, can you hear my voice? Yes, yes, I hear you. Go ahead. 
Yes, I am a, a Muslim from Indonesia. All right, you are welcome. What do you like to say so, to us? Uh, I'm sorry if my, my English is not so well. I want to ask, what's the topic actually? Well, we are talking about how why Jesus have all those miracles in the Quran. What is the point of those miracles? Why Jesus don't have a father? Why Jesus don't uh, don't die like the rest of a human being in the Quran? He is until now alive. Why he can make the blind see? Why he can resurrect people from death? Why he can tell you what you hide in your houses? Why he can heal the leper? Why he can heal any disease? Uh, why nobody can hurt him? Uh, what uh, and the opposite happened to Muhammad? Muhammad can do none of those. What do you think? I think uh, it is normal actually. For for example, Jesus can uh, raise up uh, the dead people. It is normal. I mean, it's not, uh, it's... so many so many miracles also in our life happen. Hmm. So I think it is normal. It's normal. So so why why Muhammad yes. don't have this normal thing? As long as it's normal. When the last time you Muslims you heard that there's a guy he can raise people from death and he is a Muslim. Yes, we can we can see in the old Te old Te testament, Elia or what's the name? Uh, you see, you are changing the topic. I'm talking about Islam. Oh. Does the Quran mention that Elia he did that? Does the Quran mention anyone beside beside Jesus did that? No. So you are trying to avoid answering the question by saying, okay, there is someone he can do that. This is another question in Islam. No one was able to do that, save Jesus. Why only Jesus, not Muhammad? Also, once again, what is your question? In Islam, in Islam, if there is any other person in Islam, can raise people from death, can make the blind see, can tell you what you had in your houses, he can create from the mud the bird and breathe into it and make it living creature flying like now in the sky. He is alive until now, he is in the sky, and he is born without father. If there is anyone, he have all those things, or even one of them in Islam. Okay, I admit that miracles, but uh, we can, uh, the fact... This is another question, my friend. Miracles, my friend, this is another question. We cannot see anymore now. No, this is another question. It's only like a no, 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 no. This is, this, is, this is not the question. You are not listening. Why Muhammad don't even have one of them? Okay, one by one. Jesus make the blind see. Can Muhammad make the blind see? No. Jesus, he tell you what you hide in your houses. Can Muhammad tell you what you hide in your house? No. Jesus can create from the mud the bird, and he breathe into it, he make it living creature. Can Muhammad do that? No. Jesus can give eyes to the blind. Muhammad cannot. Jesus can say, make the one who cannot walk, walk. Muhammad cannot. Jesus, he have no father. Muhammad, he have. Jesus, he never commit sin. Even the Quran, chapter 19, verse 19, call him as a holy son. Muhammad is a sinner, as the Quran quote in him. In, we forgive to thee your past sin and the one to come. Jesus right now is alive in heaven and Muhammad is dead. This is all about Jesus and he is just a prophet. Go ahead. Can you give me time to speak? Sure, go ahead. Okay, uh, every prophet has different miracles. For example, Jesus can raise up uh, dead people and Moses can... Uh, can uh, can make the Red Sea become uh, join or become disappear. So many, so every prophet have different miracles. Mm. So the miracles of uh, Prophet Muhammad, what mm. I, what we can hear for from our Ustad, mm. just for example, the scientific miracle in the Quran. Even you are objective, even you, even you were objective regarding that miracles. But I can say that the miracles of Prophet Muhammad. For example, it's the scientific that Jesus do, did not have. I did not. I lost you. What? What is, what is the last thing you say? Hello. Jesus. Yeah. Hello, hello. Can you can you hear my voice? Yeah. The last thing you said. What the last thing I you said? I admit that Jesus have many. Okay. Miracles. Okay, I will go with you, my friend. What, what's your name? What's your what, What's your name? If, so I may call you. You don't have to give your real name. It's up to you. But give me a name so I can call you. Uh, my name Budi. Budi, Indonesian. Budi. Budi. Okay, Mr. Budi. Listen, you say that in the Quran there is scientific miracles. Did you say that? Yes. Of, yes. Right. Okay. I I have a challenge, a friendly challenge. Don't take it as an offense. In front of everybody. We have more than a thousand people listening. If you can show me okay. one scientific miracle in the Quran, you are my hero. Choose anything you want. Go ahead. Okay, you 
recommend uh, you ask me to give me one example. Yeah, you know, because I, I say, I say, I say, this is a big fat lie. Your stars, they say to you, it's a lie. It's a big fat lie. Not only a lie. It's a big fat and it's my duty to prove it's a lie. And look what happened now. I am giving you open opportunity. Choose anyone you want. And I will prove it to you that it's a fraud. Okay. I, I, I will take one example, okay? Mm hmm Okay, even you will object it. I will take from the uh, time and relativity of the Einstein that uh, I can say it is already already told in Quran and then 1,400 years in the back, Einstein copied. Hmm. So I mean, one hundred more than 1,000 years. What verse we are talking Muhammad, about? Uh, uh, what, what verse we are talking about? Time and relativity, I mean, in the Quran. Okay, where where is that? Where? In al I think I'm not op open the Quran. For example, in al I ayat no, 4, I no, think. No, I want, you, I want you to search Google for what they say to you. And I want you to uh, read for me what they are saying, so to be sure that you are not quoting wrongly. Is that in chapter 20? Is, is that in chapter 22, yeah, I, verse number 47? al I think, ayat number 4. Uh, which, which verse? No, I'm not which verse? Let's say that, that one year, that one day of our life will be 50,000 year of the Malaika, I think. No. You so see, it is a kind of time relativity. Okay, hold on. You see, here actually you just to prove to us that you do not know what are you talking about and the Muslims are just fooling around. This is in chapter 22, verse number 47. To arju al-malaika wa ruh ilayhi fi yawmi kana miqdaruhu khamsina alfa sana. Here, this is about Judgment Day, and according to the Quran, actually, uh, uh, the Judgment Day uh, will be, in the Judgment Day, the angels will take him 50,000 years to go to heaven. But look what happened now. Okay. All right. I don't know if you are aware that the Quran mentioned that the angels take, take them, Yes. 1,000 years to go to Allah. Is it true? Yeah, now I, I do not uh, bring my my note. So what I remember, there are two ayat saying regarding time right. relativity. Number one All right. is, is what you... Okay. But what you have just... Okay, uh, okay. One... All right. Oh, my friend, my friend. What? How? How time and reality is about? First of all, in the Bible, it says that one day for uh, one day for God is one thousand year for us. This is in the Bible, long time before Muhammad. Secondly, what what does have to do with uh, time reality? Are you saying that Allah He have time? Are you saying that Allah really He have fifty thousand years? Sorry, do Allah have time? Do, sorry, yeah. do Allah live inside time? You're, you're... Do Allah live? Wrong, I think, Siti. Can I can, can I say what is your wrong? Okay, go ahead. Yes, in the Bible, I, I know in the Bible that it is saying in the three Peters in the three, three Peter maybe I had four I don't know <coughs> saying also in the Bible that mm. one day mm. will be one thousand year in the Allah days. You see that ayat do not have any movement, no movement. What indication move? on that ayat. What movement? What does that mean? Movement? What you, movement? Like this, like this city. For example, if you read again the time relativity of Einstein, hmm. you will see all the variable. It is T1, T0, and then speed of light, and then speed of the malaikat of or speed of the object. Okay, that's it. You see on the Alma. Okay, hold on. If you see al number four, the speed of the the, the speed of the that. angels, the speed of the angels. What is the speed of the angels? The speed of the angel that is the fee. If you know it's, the it's equation what? of the time relativity, it's, you know it. it what what, what is the speed? Ayah. What is the speed of the angels? Once again. Okay, I, I will I will tell you slowly. Hmm. If you see that ayah that saying one day of hour will be fifty thousand year, hmm. you see on that ayat. Then the malaikat raise up. Raise up means there is a movement. Because of high speed movement, then there is a time relativity. Why? Ah, because the, of the movement. Ah, okay. Force. Okay, hold on. Okay. Ah. So there, guys, there is ah, okay. There, yeah. okay, okay, there, because there is a movement. Okay, I wanna go with you. When Muhammad he went to the heaven, he took with him Jibreel. How many thousand years took Jibreel 
to go to Allah heaven. You see, I'm going with your I'm going with your story, and now you are getting your prophet busted. You are the one who said the angels will take them one thousand year in one place, fifty thousand years in another place to go to heaven. Now we have Muhammad who claimed he went to heaven in a few hours and he came back and in the way he stopped even in Jerusalem and he prayed there. So how many hours it took the Mr. Relativity angel who go in his speed, which you said 50,000 years, will take him to go just to heaven one way. How the same angel he was able to go with Muhammad for a few hours, the mic is yours. Yeah, I think it is very clear, yeah, if you, if you have uh, any education in the senior school, it already taught by our teacher that in the special relativity, I think it is, it is, it is uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, you are changing the topic. One. You see, you are not answering. You are the one who said to me, it takes them 50,000 years to go. And this is about relativity of time. Wonderful. It takes them how long? 50,000 years to go. 50,000 years just to go, which means to come back. They need 100,000 years to come back. Okay. Muhammad, he went up to heaven with his angel Jibreel in the top of a donkey. It took them, and that's for sure the, the angel is not riding the donkey. Uh, he have wings. Uh, it took them a few hours to come back, to go and to come back, which means like a maximum yeah. of, 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 of eight hours. So how yeah, it is 50,000 years, it became a few hours. What happened? Go ahead. It is like this city. Even you will not agree with me, but let me inform you. Even you will not agree. It is like this part. Hmm. Pa, pa in Bahasa means sir, yeah? Okay. So uh, there are two ayat in uh, Quran that is uh, one first saying 50,000 years. Hmm. And in other ayat, it's saying 1,000 1, years. Correct. You know, it is not the time. If you know the time relativity equation, it will tell that it is only telling about the speed. So in that two ayat... No, 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 it's, no, 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 you, no, no, no. You see, now you are trying to, to, to hide what you just said. It's recorded, my friend. You are the one who said it's about the movement. They are in movement, not as just a speed. It's in movement. So the angels are moving. Who is the one who's moving? The angels, correct? So the angels are moving, yeah. and those angels, when they move, it takes them 50,000 years to go to Allah heaven. That's wonderful. So the angels in the move, you are the one who mentioned the word movement, not me. So don't throw it away. So they are moving from point A to point B. Point B is in the heaven of Allah. Point A is in the earth. It takes them 50,000 years to go, 50,000 years to come back. This is 100,000 years. How Muhammad was able to do it in a few hours? Go ahead. I think you are wrong, sir. You are wrong. How? It's not taking 1,000 years, not taking that, that much time, not taking 50,000 years, but it is talking regarding the speed, not talking regarding the time. No, no, it's talking, no, it's taking 50,000 years. Read it, my friend, read it. Here we go. It says, he rules all affairs from the heavens on, on, to the earth, and the end, all the affairs will go up to him in a day. In a day, the day for who? The day for Allah. Space will be, will will uh, uh, wherefore will be as a thousand year in your timing. This is the verse about one thousand. The other verse it says fifty thousand. Either one is a, is a problem because if it's one thousand to go, that's mean one thousand to come back. If it's fifty thousand to go, no. it's fifty thousand. My friend, it says the verse is speaking about what? It's speaking about the angels going up to heaven. Yes or no? Yes, it's yeah, okay. Yeah, I, so, so okay. So what 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 accomplish? What accomplish? No, no, no. There's accomplishment in this time. It's not just only about time is passing. They are moving, and this movement will take them fifty thousand years of our time to go up to heaven. Correct? Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. So, took them fifty thousand years of our time. When Muhammad he went up to heaven and he came back. And his wife, she did not even notice that he left his bed. That is our time or the time of Allah? CP, I will revise again. I will revise all. I, I will remind again that on that two ayat, that 50,000 year and 1,000 year, it is not regarding time consumed. You make underline, not time consumed. No, it's regarding so time consumed. No, it's regarding time consumed because it have to pass a, a 50,000 year of our time. This is why it says our time, my friend. So one day for Allah is going to be a 50,000 years for us. And this is mean that day for Allah is so fast, day for us is so slow. 
Now I'm asking you, which which physical theory is saying what you say? I don't I care. This is the physical. The, this is the physical theory. This is the physical theory of Allah. Are you saying Allah is a stupid now? It's your God, Allah saying. It's for me the day is so slow to the point. One day for me is fifty thousand years for you. That's mean that the Earth is going around itself so fast to the point we have fifty thousand years pass. When Allah go, no, which I is making it slow. So, no, no, Einstein. I, no problem with Einstein. Did, did, did Einstein? Did Einstein? Did Einstein? Okay, hold on. Did Einstein taught you that when the 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 heaven when like if you go to heaven is going to take you fifty thousand years? No. Did Einstein taught you the numbers Muhammad? He taught no. All the numbers of Einstein have nothing to do with the numbers of Muhammad. In the top of that, Muhammad he got himself busted by saying, you see. You Muslims, you fabricate stories to make Muhammad a prophet. But Muhammad, he fabricates story too to make himself prophet. And he fabricated story that he went up to the heaven in a few hours. And he came back. And he was in the company of an angel. Now the angel, in order in order to accompany Muhammad... So, special relativity, it will be easy to understand. Even only four hours Muhammad going Miraj, it is only regarding the speed. No problem, okay, in which speed, no problem, in the speed, my friend, okay, in which speed Muhammad was going, by Einstein or by your, by, by, by Allah's speed, which speed, was that Einstein's speed, that you can go up to the, you can, up, you can go up to the, to the end of the world, to the end of the galaxies, and you come back in a few hours, is that Einstein's speed, is that, is that possible in Einstein theory? He drove with Malaikat, he drove with Malaikat, Malaikat uh, fabricated by Allah using the... My friend, you are the one, look, 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 guys, look at this. Aren't you the one we are talking about the speed of the angels from the beginning? You, okay, he is with the angels, so he have, he cannot pass the speed of the angels because they are the ones taking him. The angels take them 50,000 years to go. This is the speed of the angels. It's mentioned in the Quran, and you are the one who quoted the verse. So the I angels take them 50,000 years to go. That's physical teacher. Lah. You don't, what, you what? Don't know special relativity. what? 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 Physical, special relativity. Relativity. What? 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 Can the angel change the speed? Is it is it like a possible that he maybe change his engine? Maybe he would say instead of fourth cylinder, he would uh, uh, twenty cylinder. Maybe the Quran is giving us the speed, and you are the one who quote for me the verses. So if it's going to take them fifty thousand years to go up to heaven, that's mean round the trip is going to be one hundred thousand years, and that is the speed. In order to measure the speed, my friend, it's very very easy. You have you have the speed, you have the distance, and then you have the time. So now we have the time. We don't have the distance. And we have the speed because you are using Einstein. So now even we can find out the location of Allah. And who of you Muslims no, can tell us? Yeah, because if you have the distance, if you have the, if you, if you have the time, and if you have the speed, we can find the distance. As simple as that. Do you know, do you know mathematics or not? So, so look what you did. Now we can find where Allah located. And Allah is not... You do too dominant to speak. You do you do not give me to speak. You no, I'm giving speak you time to speak. We are talking at the same time. Don't don't complain. Don't complain, please. You are talking and nobody stop you. I'm asking you, is that the speed of the angels? You said yes. But only you can speak, you cannot uh, hear me. Is this yes, you, is, speak, uh, you see here we go, start crying from now. No, I gave you time to speak and you are talking. Nobody stop you. Is that the speed of the angels or not? 50,000 years. Is that the speed of the movement of the angel? You are recorded. You are the, from the beginning. You said you forgot this is about the movement. The movement. You are the one who said yes. that. Okay. Who is the one is who is the one is moving? There are two ayat. There are two object. Number one is uh, in Bahasa Urusan. Who? And one is, is the Gabriel. Okay, so the angels, okay, the angels, guys, so the angels, okay, make it simple, the angels. So the angels are going in the speed, which is going to take them 50,000 years to go up to Allah, correct? No, 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 no. What, no, no, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm telling you, it is not time consumed, not time consumed. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you accept, do you accept your prophet teaching? Do you accept your private teaching or you don't? 
Yes, I, yes. I'm, I'm receive my okay. my my Muhammad teaching. Okay. Okay. Do you so, accept? Do you accept? Do you accept? Do you accept? Do you accept, sorry, do you accept, sorry, sorry, do you accept your prophet explanation and your scholar explanation for the verse? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so if we open it right now and we will see this is about time consuming, are you going to agree and stop arguing? If I open it right now, explanation of your choice. What explanation would you like me to read? Give me one. Once again. What interpretation would you like me to show you in the screen so we stop arguing like kids? Because you keep saying, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to show you any interpretation of your choice, and if from your choice, I will show you it's wrong. What do you say? Look how sure I am. What do you want? Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain, Ibn Kathir? No, choose one, choose one. No, no, it's the scientific area. I mean, this, I mean actually, this, this, is, this is horrible. This is horrible that the God Allah, He says, because you see, because you, you see, you see, you see, first, first of all, Muhammad is a thief, and you, are, uh, Muhammad is a thief. He is copying from the, copying from the Bible, copying from the. If you go in the Old Testament and New Testament, if you go to Second Peter chapter three verse number eight, it says, "One day for God is the same as one thousand years of our time." So this has existed long before Muhammad. Number two, so, so that, that means we can. We are the one who can claim that uh, uh, discovery, not you. If you mention what I said before you, that's stupid to claim that it's you who discovered it because we mentioned it. This is number one. Number two, this is metaphorical. God have no time. God is out of time. There's no time for God. So if you Muslims claim that Allah have a time, that means Allah is a creature like us. And let me prove to you that Allah have a time. Can I do prove it to you? No, no, you're, no, you're like a preacher. Yeah, I cannot speak. No, 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 speak. I'm not. I'm not preaching to you. I just gave you the answer which you are trying to avoid. Is it mentioned in our book before it mentioned in your book? Yes or no? Okay, lah. Maybe next time we will. We will. No, don't tell me next time. time. Don't hang up. No, don't hang up. No, don't hang up. Is does it mean? Is it mentioned in our book before your book? Yes or no? Is it mentioned in our? Is it mentioned in our book before your book? So how you claim it for yourself? This is a copyright theft. If this is true, if this is a theory, which is scientific theory, that is a copyright theft. And you are being a thief now, like your prophet. So how you claim something is written in my book long before Islam, claiming that this is a miracle from Allah. Don't you think this is a theft? What book? What book before Quran? Uh, here we go. You, you are the one who told me, actually, you forgot. I said, I think it's Second Peter. Yes, Second Peter, chapter number three, verse number eight. That Peter do not have movement, no movement, no Mof movement. Well, no, what, what movement? What, what movement? It says a day for a day for God is the same That's as day. Movement. So here you are adding the word movement. Let us see the movement. Who is the one who move in this story? Allah or the angels? You said the angels, right? Yeah. Move where between between. Yeah. Listen, listen, no. listen, 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 no, listen, listen, listen. Obviously, obviously, no, or, obvi obviously, you, you have a big failure and you could not prove anything. Secondly, secondly, you fail to answer. You fail to answer. You fail to answer. You, you helped me to get your prophet busted. He went to heaven in four hours and came back. How this happened? If it takes fifty thousand years, you are the one. You see, you are the one who just said. You are the one who just said movement. You are the one who said. You, listen, you are the one who said it's about movement. I I quote for you the I quote for you the verse from the Bible. You said there's no movement there, right? So movement. Okay, Muhammad he have a movement. He went up to heaven and he came back in a few hours. How it happened that the angels take them fifty thousand years? To go and fifty thousand years to come back, which means one hundred thousand years. You were wrong, pa. How I'm wrong? You explain to me. Wrong. Okay, you, explain to me you, how. You said, uh, my friend, you my said friend. Malaikat consume fifty thousand year. I have told it is not consumed. Not okay. Consume, according not to who, according consume, to who not consume? According to who not consume? Shall we go and see the interpretation? Is that fine for you? Yes. Okay. Let's read again. The All right. Time. Okay. Let, let us let us go, guys. Please, let us go. Please, let us go and see the the please, interpretation. Please. Now he will say, "I don't accept the interpretation." Just wait. He will okay, say, "Well, now I will, I will leave the debate. Uh, I, I give you time to." No, no, no. Again, regarding. No, don't give me time. Reading. Don't go. Don't go. Chapter Thank seventy. You, you are running away. Chapter seventy, verse number four. We'll go to Ibn Kathir. Do you accept Ibn Kathir? Yes or no? Before we open it. I know. I now I know why you always claim you win the debate because you always speak yourself. You do not give chance to people to. You see, speak. guys, I don't give him a chance. Look at this coward. I am asking you right now. I'm going to show you Ibn Kathir. You're a scholar. Do you accept? Yes or no? 
You say I don't give you time to speak. Uh, you are a coward. You're trying to run away. You want to hang up. You want to hang up because you are getting busted. You say this is not about time consuming. Shall I open Ibn Kathir for you? Yes or no? I will. I will leave the debit now. Why you want to leave? Why? Because because you are getting busted by Ibn Kathir. Hi, here we go, coward. You want to leave? Yeah, I, I, guys. I don't give him time to talk, and he is leaving. Why you are leaving? You are talking. I did not mute you. I did not hang up on you. I did not. I did not do anything to you. Listen, listen. Do you accept? Do you accept the interpretation of your scholars? Yes or no? You dominate the speak so I better. No, I, I'm, I'm asking you. Okay, listen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Coward, run away. This is Ibn Kathir in front of you. Do you accept it or not? This is not about time consuming. This is not about time consuming. This is about time consuming. In the day the measurement were for 50,000 years, this is referred for the day of judgment. And he says, in that day, in the day of the judgment, the chain of narration reported Ibn Abbas, etc., hadith, authentic hadith saying the following The angel and the ruh ascend into him in the day major were for 50,000 years. It is the day of the judgment that Allah has made to be major by 50,000 years for the disbelievers. So yes, it's time consuming. You have to consume 50,000 years. And you are a coward. And this is what? This is authentic. And here you see the fraud of this cult. Something mentioned in my book not even in the, in the New Testament, even in the Old Testament. Long before Islam and the God of Islam was created. And now they claim it for themselves. But even in my book, we don't say this is scientific discovery. This is stupid to say, actually. What scientific discovery? And then when we ask him how your prophet was able to go there and come back in a few hours, he don't want to answer and claim I am not letting him to speak. Have you ever heard of a coward behavior like this? Did I block him? No. Did I stop him from talking? No. He don't want to. He don't want to answer. Your prophet he went to the seven heaven, all the way to where Allah located to Surat Al-Muntaha. Not only he went to the heaven, he went to the top heaven, where the angels can't even go. He went to the point after even Jibreel. He said to him, "I cannot go and accompany you." All of this in a few hours, Mr. Relativity of Time. If we go in the Hadith, <coughs> you will see that Allah, he sent Muhammad a female sexy donkey or a mule. And according to Einstein, a mule, he can go in a speed of light. And by the way, they speak about speed of light because remember, the angels are made from light too, like Allah. <laughs> and the funny Muhammad, you know, always he come with the stories, it's amazing. Like as an example, when Muhammad, he came back from the heaven, he did not come back to home, to Aisha. He went to Jerusalem, brother. And then Jibreel, he pointed his finger at the wall and he made a crack so they can't tie up the donkey. Yeah, because the donkey will run away, brother. I mean, do you, see, do you see the story? Muhammad is telling them where they tie up, they tie up the donkey. It's a donkey. Jibril he put his finger in the wall of the temple of David, or the temple of the Jews, and he made a hole in it, and then he tie up the donkey because the donkey is not obeying Allah. He might run away. So we have to tie him up. Imagine this donkey came all the way from the seven heavens, seven galaxies without GBS, and now the donkey will run away. So we have to tie him up. Huh? This is the story of your prophet. Your prophet got you busted. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> and 
not only that, guys. Do you know that Allah He come down every night, third part of the night, relativity of time. How Allah He come down every night? If you Muslims come, if you Muslims believe that there is different timing, Muhammad He believe there is only one time. Read carefully. He believed the earth is flat, and the Quran confirmed that. Huh? Call back, call back. I know I made you famous now in Indonesia. God knows how many people will copy your videos and they will laugh at you. But it's not my fault, my friend. You made fun of yourself. There's movement, there's movement here, there's movement, there's movement, brother. A lot of movement, brother. Your prophet even, he claimed that the sun set in the murky water in the Quran, and he explained where the sun goes every day. Every day the sun goes and at the throne of Allah. So your prophet explained, Mr. Relativity of Time, that the sun set because the sun goes every day. Let me show you. He asked Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? Abu Dhar, you know, uh, which the Muslim even try to make about the word Dharra, they make it about an uh, atom and a nuclear. Dharra, even Abu Dhar, Abu Dhar, you see the guy, his name is Abu Dhar. Why they call him Abu Dhar? Because he moved an ant from the road. Dhar is an ant. You see how we got you busted? Even the names there, they are proving you liar. So look at this. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, S-A-W-S, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. And by the way, the Muslims, they say that Muhammad was a warrior. Muhammad don't ride horses, he ride donkeys always. Warrior who go for war, he don't ride donkeys. Here it says, I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. Two guys in the donkey, not only one. Hmm. He asked, do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his messenger know better. He says, it's set in the murky hot water. If they say to you, this is da'if, it is not. Sahih in chain, and this is Alabani, which is not a big deal for me. Do you see it? Mr. Relativity of Time, your God come every third part of the night. Your God, he explained to us that the sun set in murky water, as the Quran chapter 18 says. And the stupid, his name, what his guy? Uh, uh, Ustaz Insane, the idiot. He says to us, it's not Allah, CP. It's, Why, CP? Well, hold on. It's not Allah who said you are a liar. It's Allah who said. The one who's talking is Allah. And here we go, Muhammad getting your busted as usual. They try to make it that the guy he saw the sunset in the ocean. So he said he found the sunset. First of all, it doesn't say ocean, it says spring, you idiot. Since when the ocean is a spring? Since when? Huh? So when you speak about science and the Quran, we die laughing. I have my books for free. Translated to the, the to the Indonesian language, go read it about Quran and science and die laughing. Liars. And that's why he hung up, hung up. His name is what? Insan Mogaginita Gonita Ginta. I don't know. You know, I mean, how in the world even you call yourself insan? Insan is a word meaning human. How you call yourself a human? I mean, is that a name? Ah, stupidity. Stupidity. Yeah, but if you go in the Quran, you see the saying, the science look like their prophet is an idiot and they are scientists. Allah is scientist. So why Allah, he said, the sun set in murky water and why Muhammad agree with that? And why Muhammad say the sun goes every day and sit under the throne of Allah and then ask Allah for permission? He don't even know how the sun movement is. Until when he reached the setting sun, the setting sun of the, uh, 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 he found it set in a spring. Where is the ocean? Even your translation, your stupid translation says spring. 
Who is the one he said talking? Is it Zulkarnain? No, it's Allah. This is why he says he found it. If Zulkarnain is talking, he would say, I found it. I mean, do you see how, how stupid even their answers? And the only way to answer is to hang up and to run away. Oh, you are not letting me talk. And then we go to the hadith. We found Muhammad explaining where the sun set and how Allah come down every night, every third part of the night. And the funny they say to us that God cannot go inside his creation. So who is Allah now coming inside what? He's going to the lowest heaven. That's when he go to heaven number seven, six, five, four, three, two. And then he is now inside number one. He is inside his creation, as you see. But the important here is he come every third part of the night. So where is the relativity time? There's third part of the night everywhere. That's when Allah never go. Because if Allah come down every third part of the night, that's mean he have to go up, come back, come back, go back, go up. I mean, every, every what? Every two hours or every one hour? But Muhammad saying he come only once in the third part of the night. That's mean Muhammad considered that time is the same for all earth too. And when they asked Muhammad where the sun set, he confirmed that set in murky water. And then he quote for us other verse in the Quran, exposing your relativity of time. Look at this. Once I was be, uh, uh, with Allah, a uh, messenger in the mosque, and in the time of the sun set, and he said, Abu Dhar, the father of the ants, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his disciple knows best. He said, it goes and prostrate underneath Allah throne. This is the relativity of time. It's time of sunset. It's about movement. Who is moving? Not the earth according to Muhammad and his God. It is the sun moving every day, going to bow down under Allah throne. This is why the sun, the sun is going. And they, look, and not only that, he quote for us a verse from the Quran. Your prophet is getting smarter now. And that what Allah meant and the sun runs into a fixed course. And actually the Muslim, they made a scientific miracle about this. But they will not quote for you this hadith because this will get them busted. And is that Sahih? This is Sahih Bukhari. This is what? This is Sahih Bukhari. They will say to you, it's not Sahih. It's not Sahih. Sahih Bukhari, not Sahih. Quran, not Sahih. Tom and Jerry, Sahih. Why you make fun of a man name? Oh, okay. Well, the hadith I just showed you before that, the Muslim, he says to a guy who didn't agree that Muhammad, he went to heaven, he said to him, you are Asla, oh, bold man. Should I call you bold man too? You are talking about how you make fun of a, of a person name? How I made fun of a person, which name? Which mean I name fun? I told you that the name exposed you saying that the word Dhurra mean you clear. His, his name is the father of the ants. Abu Dhar, stupid idiot you are. Other, other companion of Muhammad, his name is Abu Huraira, you idiot. The father of the cats, idiot. Muhammad married Zainab bin to Jahsh. Bin to what? Jahsh. Jahsh means donkey. So her name is Zainab, daughter of donkey. The last name of Muhammad is Kilab. Kilab. What Kilab? Dogs. Why well, you are making fun of names? I'm sharing knowledge with you, you idiot. When we read those names, we feel like we are in the zoo. Muhammad's last name is Kilab, dogs. His wife, her last name is Jash, which means donkey. His companion is the father of the ant. The other companion is the father of the cats. I mean, who's left? He licked the face of Osama. Osama means a lion. Why well, are making fun of the name? You know, they are like, like somebody who did not go to the bathroom for 10 years and they come here and do it. Who's next? Who dare? And look how they complain. Oh, you did not let me talk. All this talk, I let him. I did not let him talk. I am asking him to answer. I did not let him talk.
Well, he's, oh, he's welcome to call me if you want, Booty. But this is not nice of you, Mr. Booty. I gave you all the chance. You are, uh, instead of answering, you escape. Please don't send me text in Skype to make a funny comment. If you want to make comment, make it in the chat. Skype is only for Muslims to call me. We have a Muslim, let us see. Don't text me if you are a Muslim unless you want to call me. Why you are texting me then? Why you are texting me if you don't want to talk? Do you think if we, if we call Budi again, he will have an answer after searching in Google for the last 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Let us try. One last time. <laughs> Booty in the run. Booty, he don't want to answer. Bye bye, Booty. Now I know why the song says, Yes, sir, I can Booty. Oogie Boogie. Yes, I do. This is Quran, by the way. Amazing Quran, beautiful Quran. Those are the versions wearing their panties in the stage. This is the, this is the relativity of time. Here we go in front of you. The sun run in its fixed course. Who can beat that theory? This is the course of the sun. Every day goes from east to west and what? Sleep under the throne of Allah and then ask for Allah permission. And then Allah says to her, okay, sun, go, yeah, go, go, go back. Do you see it? Who can, who can deny this relativity of time? Nobody. Amazing relativity, Blada. Very beautiful. Isn't it amazing to have a God and prophet like this? Are you kidding me? This is science. This is pure science. Before Muhammad, we don't know where the sun set. Now we discover it. Take a bath. It's set in the sun, set in the muddy water. Take the heat from there. That's why it's hot. It says Hamiya, which means hot. And not only that, do you know that the God of the Quran, Mr. Relativity of Time, think that there is two east and two west? <laughs> two east and two west are you sure yes brother chapter 55 verse 17 because the god of islam could not explain why the sun set and rays in different location in winter and summer he is the lord of the two east and the lord of two west do you see it relativity of time Einstein. Do you see it? This is a lot of Einstein here, by the way. This is not only Einstein, this is time too. And the funny always things who is discovered is covered by Christians or Jews, and the Muslim they put it in the Quran. Yeah, and hot water is from the hellfire. Allah, he allowed the, how Muhammad explained how, how the winter is getting cold and how the summer is getting hot. The winter get cold because the heaven breathe. <laughs> Allah allowed the heaven to breathe. 
and the, the, the summer get hot because Allah allowed the hell to breathe. <laughs> science, science. And the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, science. Scientific miracle in the Quran. So Jesus have all the miracles from raising people from the death. He have no father. He can make the blind see. What Muhammad can do? He can tell us where the sun set and where the sun set, set in murky water. Scientific miracle of the Quran. That's what he said. And hold on. Look here, here, here. There's a lie again. They, they mention. They say that the the the, uh, the salty water and the fresh water they don't mix, right? And they show you a picture of a river, saying Subhanallah, Subhanallah, brother. Saying the read the verse, you idiot. It says they will never, ever, ever transgress. Between them, there is a barzakh, barrier. Do you see it? And the word barzakh is a piece of land. Why you are lying? So the stupid God of Islam, he believed, or Muhammad, Aka Muhammad, that the salty water and the fresh water, the reason it's salty there and fresh here, because it's a miracle of Allah. He never let them mix. When the fact the salty water is the same as the fresh water. The difference is that one became rain and come back and saved in the ground, but it's coming from the ocean anyway. And yes, they mix. But here he's saying they will never transgress. Do you see? They which they do not, there's a barrier which they do not transgress. The most time they show you a, ver, a river, a delta, where a river come and there's a current of fresh water and salty water. It takes time for the fresh water to mix because there's a current. But who said that the fresh water and salty water? There's no science says that. That's a lie. Go right now to your kitchen. Put salt in a cup of water. Or bring, uh, if you're living close to the beach, or if you're in Indonesia, you live in the beach, right? Go and get a cup of salty water, Muslims, and bring it home, and bring a cup of a fresh water, and mix them together. Let's see if they mix or not. And then you will see that they are lying to you. This is not what the science says. Here in the Quran, the God of Islam is claiming that those, they don't pass each other. They don't even touch it. There's a barzakh. What barzakh? Barzakh mean a piece of land. Chapter 50, <coughs> 55, verse number 20. As long as Ibn Kathir is open, let us see, see Ibn Kathir. Get you busted from there. <laughs> Liars. <coughs> I need to drink water. Not salty water, fresh water. Really. Okay. Too many browser open, we need to close some, man. All of them about the science of the Quran, brother. Amazing science, brother. Okay. Right. So, chapter 55, verse number 20, we go here. In the front of your eyes, this is Ibn Kathir, Muslim website. All right. And we read the interpretation. Ta -da -da -ta -da 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 -da. And now they will say Ibn Kathir is an idiot. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's paid by you, Chris and Prince. He's a Jew. He's a Hindu. Let us see. <clears throat> First of all, here the Quran made a mistake. He said that there is two seas, but the salty water is a sea. The fresh water is not. That is a stupid statement in Arabic. They are not two seas. But Muhammad, because he learned that people they dig in the ground, so obviously there is a sea, because they find water everywhere almost. So the two seas are the fresh water, salty water. Okay. One is coming from the running rivers and the one is from the ocean. Okay. It says here, he let he has let free the two seas. One is platable and sweet, and the other one is salty and bitter. And he has set a barrier, complete partition between complete. Do you see complete? Between them, there's a barrier which none of them can transgress. None of them can transgress. None. It's like having a steel between them. Meaning, he has a place, a barrier, a piece of land, of land between them. You see it? If you go and watch the videos of the of the fraud, the, the fraud of Islam. They make it the water touching each other, brother. Alhamdulillah, brother. Subhanallah, brother. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, brother. When the fact that Quran making a stupid statement. This is the opposite of science. 
the stupid Muhammad he think that salty water and fresh water they have nothing to do with each other Allah created salty water alone created fresh water alone he put a barrier between them and they cannot mix and it says that in front of you they cannot none of them can transgress do you see it none can transgress which means will ever never transgress and then this guy says to me the scientific miracle of the Quran Who is next? Who is the next victim? Who is the next vic next victim after Budi? Yes, sir. I can Budi, 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 Budi. And you don't let me talk. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a good one. Nobody let Muslims talk as I do. Go and see what Muslims how they hang up on me in less than three minutes. They hang up on me eight times and they call me all kind of names. They don't even let me say. And like when the Mimi, Mimi, he said to me, where, where it says that Paul in the Quran, you have 30 seconds. What? You have 30 seconds. <laughs> and less than two seconds, I gave him the reference. And the stupid, he opened the screen reading different reference because he's a stupid, he's nervous. He thought I would quote different book. So they are not ready for what I quoted. So they open a different book. You idiot. I am not talking about this book. I'm talking different book. No, this is this guy is not. A, 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 shut him up. Mute him. Mute him. Mute him. And he called me names, you know. Filthy coward. He promised the Muslims he would debate me. Yeah, what never happened? They don't dare. And then he says, did you say to the Muslim women, suck on me? I was quoting your stupid prophet, you idiot. Isn't your prophet say to the woman, suckle him? And by the way, uh, one of you sent me a text uh, saying that the Muslim, they say this is about drinking the milk of the woman. Do you think the woman is a cow? And how by drinking the woman milk, if you are a man, what that will do? Secondly, it says suckle, suckle. Do you know what suck mean? Suckle. Suckle, not drink. And the woman, she's an old woman. He was suckling what exactly? She didn't have babies. Do you think women, she is a, she is a, her nipples is a faucet. Anytime you open it, there is milk coming. Huh? Even Aisha, she ordered her nieces. Anyone want to enter upon her, he cannot get in unless his nieces and her sisters suckle him. Do you see it? Suckle. Nursed. The prophet says, suckle him. He did not say give him some milk. Do you, do you even know how to read or you are illiterate like your prophet? Do you see the word suckle? Let me, let me, uh, let me explain to you what suckle means. As long as you are slow and your name is booty yes sir I am moody very moody yes I do this is the this is uh, Sahila bintu Suhail and this is her uh, hold on I'm very good in art by the way I was number one uh, actually because so and uh, there is many scientists, I mean, uh, uh, artists, they learn from me. In my school, they graduated. Uh, I remember at that time, I graduated with me and Abu Huraira and Abu Dhar from the same school. And by the way, your prophet, he says that the one who draw a picture, Allah will bring him in the day of resurrection. And he will say to him, blue in it, blue, which means he created like because he blew. He make a fashion in something and he blew in it and that will make it alive. And Allah will keep uh, forcing you to blue until you go crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to draw Sahla. This is uh, Sahla bin Tusuhail, a good Muslim woman. Okay, and what kind of a drawing? Sorry, guys, because uh, uh, <clears throat> it's not because my drawing is bad. Excuse me. It is the pen. It's the pen. Hold on. Hold on. 
it is a technical difficulty excuse me okay oh. <clears throat> This is Sahla, and this is her nose, and this is her mouth. Fantastic! Oh, look how beautiful it is! Unbelievable! So beautiful! So beautiful! My mom, she will be so proud of me if you see she see my drawing now. And then the brother, and then she go down here, and then suddenly there's like two balloons come out. Look, boom. Okay. And this is here, there's no pose. Okay? Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Too. And then, brother, you have to suck those nipples. This is what suckling mean. You have to put your mouth there. Please don't print my, uh, uh, like this copyrighted. For it's and it's priceless. Time will come and they will say, "Look, this is the 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 art of a Christian prince. What's amazing, beautiful, so beautiful." Yeah, is it your prophet who said to her to the guy to the woman, "Suckle him"? Is that suckle him? Yes, it is. Suck. You are so cute. So imagine you open the door in your wife and she find the you find the neighbor sitting in the lap of your wife, suckling her nipples. You say, "What are you doing?" She said to you, hey, booty, I can booty, I can suckle him, yes, sir. She said to her, what are you talking about? You cannot suckle him. You say, yes, sir, I can suckle him, see Sahih Bukhari, yes, sir. You know, it's Sahih, I was quoting what your prophet said, and they said sexual predator. Look at the, look at the fraud. If you quote for them what their prophet he ordered a Muslim woman, and the fact that it was a woman who said to me, very faithy language about Jesus, saying that Jesus was doing something bad to his mother, and the video is there. Oh boy. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time? Don't forget to subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. And if you subscribe, don't forget to answer subscribe because Allah will double your reward if you are a Muslim. This is why you need to subscribe and unsubscribe. For Allah, He doubled. Like if you make a bad, de bad deed, bad deed. Let me explain to you bad deed according to Islam in a simple way. If you subscribe to Christian Prince, this is bad deed. However, if you unsubscribe, this is a good deed, and Allah will double your reward. So you get two credit. Look at this. So if you subscribe one hundred time to me, and unsubscribe from me, you will get two hundred dollars from Allah reward. That's the easiest tradition ever. Please explain, hold on. We have somebody, poor guy, keep posting something and I am not answering him. Okay, hold on. Please explain. Let us show your question. Ituna saying, please explain how Jibreel is Holy Spirit when they talk. Il Nasa, Muhammad, how can be one? Um, I don't know what you mean. What an uh, insa when they talk to Muhammad, insa and Muhammad. How I'm not sure what you mean. However, there is not a single verse in the Quran saying that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. This is a, this is a stupid uh, uh, interpretation of the Muhammadan. Nowhere it says such a thing. And in the top of that. Uh, we showed you already a verse from the Quran. It says, "The day the angels and the spirit they will line up together." So, if the spirit, if Jibril is a spirit, then why Allah differentiation? They making differentiation between the angels and the spirit. All right. <clears throat> Not a single verse saying that the Holy Spirit is Jibril. Nowhere. And I find this is very funny, because this book supposedly is a book of God yet this book of God he can't explain very simple thing here you see in chapter 78 verse number 38 it says and that in that day the spirit and the angels will be standing forth in ranks so if the angels are the same as the spirit that's mean this is a stupid statement as you see it says and the angels that's mean they are different so Jibreel is one of the angels 
So he cannot be a spirit. As simple as that. All right. So I want to say thank you all for being here. And we appreciate those who download the video, translate the video. And please allow the people who down, to download your video after that, if you make a translation, don't be selfish. I heard that some of you are flagging other people if they download the video, which they translated or add subtitle. I understand this is your work, but my friend, this is my work too. We need to be, we need to get rid of our being selfish, you know, selfishness. If I say this is my work, then why I'm here? This is my time, my friend. This is my time, my life, my work. Shouting, screaming. If you, if uh, if I am a different person, I will have heart attack. Screaming all day to those crazy people. Need a lot of patience. I did not become a Christian prince by one day. I spent my life studying. This is my work. So you don't, uh, you know, when you say I'm not going to let you download the video, that is not right. And you are no Christian. This is my video, not yours. If you add little words in it, if you are selfish, you don't want people to download the video you made, you don't belong here. You don't belong to Jesus. If you are a person here to come and do business, you don't belong to Christ. All right? So, uh, let everybody download the video you make. If you add subtitle, let them download it. For the whole point is not about you, it's not about me, it's about saving mankind and showing them the truth, and the truth will set them free. And the Lord, the Messiah, he said, I am the truth. I am the way. No salvation but by me. So who are you? And who am I? If we say, this is my video. The Messiah, he gave us his life. And you are talking about my video and my translation. The Messiah said, from their fruits, you shall know them, not from their names. Time will come and the Messiah will come to you and will say, I don't know you. Oh, Christ, I prayed. I... No, you, didn't. you prayed, but you did not do any work. Your prayer is selfishness. See, many people, they pray asking for themselves, right? That's normal behavior of a selfish person. Oh no, you know, a, a real person who loves Jesus, he do as Jesus do. He don't only think about himself. It's good to think about yourself to survive, no problem. But a real Christian is the one who work to help others. The Bible is full of stories and full of examples and clear orders that the one who belong to him is the one who do what he do. When the Messiah, he made the blind see, he was not the blind, it was the blind. So don't be the same as someone. He's asking the Lord to see, but he don't, we want everyone else to be blind. That's evil. A true Christian, he loved the Muslims, and he wished them to see. And this is the purpose of our work. We want the Muslims to see the truth. We love them. We don't hate them. We will never hate them. For if we hated them, that make us the same as the filthy Muhammad. That will make us guilty as he is. That will make us following Satan, not Jesus. Never hate them, my friend. In the same time, don't depend on praying only. Those who pray only don't do work, they are fake. If you see a poor man, you don't say, I pray that you will get a sandwich. If you can, if you have money, give him a sandwich. If you see a sick person who cannot walk up, stand up, you do something, help him. You don't just pray, says, I pray to God to help you. You are there, God, he sent you to help him. This is how God help. He helped by our hands. So I want to say thank you for all of you. And may the Lord open the eyes of the Muhammadan and see the truth. And the truth will set them free. God bless. This is Hambly Christian Prince who was with you. With all the love of the Lord to all. 
And the Lord, he said, not by the bread only human being he live, but by every word from the mouth of God. And that is the mouth of God. Jesus the Christ is the walking, talking, living word of God. The walking, talking, living word of God. In the beginning it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is the God. That is the Messiah. This is why his name is holy. His act is holy. He have no sin. His ability is cannot be compared to anything. This is why when we ask the Muslims, where is the miracles of Muhammad? They have nothing. Where is the miracle of Jesus? It's astonishing. Beyond astonishing. That is my Lord, who is yours. Thank you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon. Bye-bye.